Hey guys, Ben here from United Yacht Sales and welcome back to my channel. About a week ago, I was at the Palm Beach International Boat Show to look at some catamarans that were on display here. As you probably realized by now, the Miami International Boat Show was canceled, so uh, this is going to be basically a consolation prize since there is no videos coming out of that. The three boats that we're going to be looking at in order of appearance are the Vision 444, uh, the new Leopard 42, and the Fontaine Peugeot uh, motor yacht um, power catamaran. 44. We're starting out this week with the new Vision 444. Uh, it's a new build coming out of South Africa, vaguely based off of the old Matrix uh, 540. It's a long story, I don't need to go into it, but uh, what's the deal with this boat? It's an advanced boat, has really neat construction. Uh, they're offering a lot of advanced features for customers that want them, as this is a semi-custom. They've got one guy that bought a boat using a wing sail. Uh, another, it can also buy this boat using either electric or diesel electric hybrid drives. So the really, uh, it's really kind of a high technology boat pushing the envelope and even if you aren't the sort of person who would go out and buy a weird uh, sort of high technology boat like that, I think it's good to appreciate people who are at least you know, pushing the envelope to see you know, what works and what doesn't. All right, so with all that said, thanks for sticking with me and let's go aboard. All right, so we're here on the new Vision 444. It's a, uh, a new build, a semi-custom out of South Africa. South African semi-custom, as I'm fond of saying. We're here on the starboard sugar scoop. We've got these safety bars, I guess, that you know block off the sugar scoop when you're sailing. Shore power connection up there. We've got a side door, which is, I guess, useful for getting in and out the dock or boarding the dinghy, if you so choose to go that way. We've got some storage in this locker, cleaning supplies. The spinnaker and jib furler are run uh, on the side decks down to this winch right here. Take a quick look at the cockpit first. We've got a nice seat right here, as well as an L-shaped settee uh, there with a wooden table and a nice banquette on the side. Uh, this boat does have davits, not a swim platform, but you'll notice these davits are molded directly into the hull. So yeah, definitely not going anywhere. And um, as you can see, the supports for this, for the salon hardtop also, are basically just an extension of the hull, so everything is, uh, you know, just like really tightly integrated. The construction of the hull, by the way, is vinyl ester with uh, various foams, depending on what section you're looking at. The uh, master stateroom is beneath me. We've got flush mounted hatches up and down the deck. And I just want to bring your attention first to the helm station. It is a raised a raised helm station with a hard top and even though this boat is a you know ostensibly a performance cruiser it's a cruiser first and I, I really appreciate that they didn't do some kind of like weird helm arrangement even if this does mean they have to raise the boom slightly you know raised helm it's a proven concept it works it's simple you know don't reinvent the wheel so speaking of that you've got wheel right there the throttles next to it the remainder of the lines are led through this organizer back to these two Harkin winches. And the owner of this boat has gone with some B&G electronics. Chart plotter there. And the remainder of your instruments here. We'll do a quick visibility check. And let's let's go forward as well. Again, more flush mounted hatches all and all up and down the owner's side. You've got a bow seat up here and uh, everything here is covered in this sort of um, sort of foam. I'm not entirely sure what kind it is, but it is very comfy to walk on, that's for sure. So you've got uh, split split windows for the salon. Uh, two windows forward as well as another two windows on top, so ventilation wise really great uh, The owner has chosen to use a self furling boom, so you know, that's neat. I like self furling booms I think they're convenient. No complaints from me there We'll look 
a bit farther up at the rest of the rig. One spreader and two stays, as well as your radar. Take a look at what storage we can get on here. It's a good amount of storage in here, as well as uh, I believe that is, yes, that is the generator. And here is your sail locker for the spinnaker or parasailer, whichever you choose. And real quick, the windlass as well. It's not the most generous anchor locker, but oh well. You got your controls right by there as well. We'll, we'll step back. You can see it's a split, split trampoline. Um, the way these trampolines are secured is with this sort of bungee cord. It's a bit bouncy, I'm not entirely sure I like it, but uh, you know, it's a semi-custom, so pick whatever you want. So you see we've got a bowsprit up here, we're with a furler for, uh, appears to be a code, air, a code Zero or some other light air sail. Uh, jib as well. As you can see, the jib does run on a track if you just haven't, if I haven't already pointed that out. So it's self-tacking. And we'll come back to the salon. As you can see, there is no lack of solar on this boat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight solar panels. So, yeah, this owner is sitting pretty, that's for sure. Does not use a traveler. Rather, it has a German sheeting system, so uh, keeps things a little cleaner. Though I believe, obviously, there is space for a traveler. You've got uh, foam foam decking as well, so it's a little uh, a little cooler than the typical teak. And of course, spinnaker comes down on the other side to this winch. We'll take one final look at the salon, and let's go inside. All right, so we've got a pair of doors that come together that give us a L-shaped connection to the rest of the salon. We'll come in and look at the galley. First thing, you've got an ice maker down here, as well as more galley storage. Dual basin sink with uh, uh, three taps. A this is a combination microwave and convection oven, as well as half of this stove appears to be induction and the other half appears to be gas. So that's uh, it's interesting. You can you know cook cook how you want. The stove is beneath there. You got more galley storage. So all in all, real nice U-shaped galley. You've got a raised settee up here with Tommy. He doesn't come included with the boat, but he will sell you one. Yeah, that is true. And more interestingly, uh, you've got a forward-facing nav station, the TV in back. So, you know, this is a sailor's boat, and, um, you know, it's a good place to keep watch. You've got all your instruments uh, duplicated up here, and it's really just, you know, it's just a really neat, really neat setup. So, we'll go into the owner's suite now. We've got more storage here, as well as some sliding storage up here. The bed is fit snugly within the holes. The interior on this boat is interesting. It's a, it's a combination of sort of, you know, more plain surfaces, but you've also got a decent amount of wood. So, yeah, real, real interesting. Again, you've got lots of light courtesy of the hatches. Uh, similar to, you know, a lagoon, this door does slide. Uh, I believe it's locked right now, but just trust me, it does slide if you wish to enclose the owner's suite from the rest of the room. Real big hanging locker for the owner. And everything just sort of seamlessly transitions into the owner's head. 
you've got a combination washer dryer up here, you know, mounted, mounted at a sort of, of uh, at waist level, so no need to bend over. The owner's head, nice kind of modernist sink. As well as, as you move forward, yes, we have one second. You have the shower, and it does have a, a place for you to sit if you don't like to, you know, shower while standing, if that's a hardship for you. And forward, you do have a big storage locker, which is accessible from both the deck, but it's a lot more convenient to just go through the owner's head and reach it. As well as this escape hatch really helps ventilate the, uh, the owner's suite. You know, I'm getting real good airflow in here. So really, really well ventilated boat. I mean, you've got fishing equipment, you know, extra bilge pumps, extra rope, tools, cleaning supplies, whatever you need, you know, real big area. We'll jump across to the guests. But also have cold storage here. Both refrigerator and freezer units. All right, we'll head into the guests right now. We'll go aft first, where the guest bed is propped up to reveal the mechanical space. Um, this isn't the only mechanical space. There's another mechanical space forward of this. I'll flash some footage of that real quick. It contains the water maker as well as the steering system, so take a good look at that. But back under the guest bed, you do have the uh, Nanny Kubata diesels. And I know what you're thinking. It just seems a little weird. Why would you use interior engine compartments? You know, it's 2020, 2021. But I assure you there is sort of a good reason for doing this, but I'll have to explain it in another video. For now though, you've got the remainder of the guest storage on this side, as well as this head, which is belongs to the aft guests. Um, this head, unlike the other one, is a wet head. So everything in here is just pretty much made of plain fiberglass, as well as you've got a nice carbon fiber accent here. Oh well, yeah, he explained this, <laughs> just have to tune the rig. Unfortunately, that does happen when, you know, you adjust things. And here you've got more uh, equipment, basically, air conditioner, salt uh, pumps, seacocks, and whatnot. It's all laid out so that, you know, you can access it really easily, which is nice. More storage here take a minute to admire the flooring on this boat it's real it's real nice wood it's an interesting texture you've gotten a thwartship berth for the forward guest stateroom this guest head is uh, slightly nicer you have your toilet down here a basin sink as well as a hatch up here real good lighting and separate shower. Also the same escape hatch provides really great ventilation so yeah. So that is going to be it for the uh, Vision 444. If you have any questions or comments uh, please email the dealer in the description. Uh, as always if you like the video consider liking the video. If you dislike the video leave a hot dislike leave a comment and if possible, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.